Today we're going to talk about hitting hybrids. So we've got three tips for how you guys can better hit and utilize hybrids in your golf game. So before I really get started into the three tips for hitting a hybrid, I will say that the, all of this is a, a moot point without understanding that your hybrid needs to fit you just like any other club in your bag. So often we put a lot of energy into making sure that our driver fits us and that we've got the right shaft and the right loft and the right lie. And maybe some of you guys haven't even gotten your driver fit, but a hybrid needs to be fit for your golf game. I had a hybrid in my bag for about 10 years. The shaft was a little bit too soft. And as I got older and as I played more, I started swinging the club a little bit faster. And I noticed I was hooking it. I was hitting it high. I couldn't control my trajectory. The shaft was too soft. The second I got a shaft in that fit my golf game better, immediately I was getting a more piercing ball flight. I was able to control my trajectory better. I was able to hit different shots. I was actually able to hit a fade with a hybrid, which I didn't know was possible. So make sure that you guys are getting a hybrid that fits your game. Even if it's just super basic fitting, like making sure that you have a heavy enough shaft that's stiff enough. First thing is that, make sure you're fit. Okay, let's get into hitting hybrids. So today we've got three tips for how you guys can hit hybrids better, how you guys can understand using a hybrid in your golf game. And the first thing I want to talk about, tip number one, is ball position. Now we talk about ball position, we kind of harp on ball position here at US Golf TV, but it's so underlooked at. I remember hearing from someone saying, when guys are on the driving range on the PGA Tour, we oftentimes think that they're working on a lot of these crazy things. The majority of the time, they're working on their alignment and their ball position because it's just so critical. So, with a hybrid, because it looks more like a three wood, looks more like a driver, it's got more of that, that, um, you know, more of that wood looking head, we kind of assume we need to hit it like a wood. So a lot of times, you know, I see guys, I see buddies that I play with or whatever, they play it off the inside heel of their lead foot, almost like a driver, and they try to maybe sweep at it like they're hitting a, a three wood or a driver. But these clubs are designed to replace irons. I mean, a lot of times when you put a hybrid in your, in your bag, you're replacing a three iron, a four iron, some golfers even a five and a six iron. So they're designed to behave like irons. The way they have their center of gravity moved down, the way that the MOI is built into these clubs, it's designed to hit down on the ball like you would an iron. So a simple rule of thumb, if you're looking to you know, improve the ball position with a hybrid, we've got three golf balls here set up. This back golf ball here represents something that maybe would be a uh, little bit back of center. This may be something where you'd hit maybe a wedge, uh, nine iron. Up front, we've got a driver, right off your inside heel, right off the front inside heel. That's where a lot of guys are, you know, we should be playing our driver. But with a hybrid, we actually want this thing about a full club head back from our driver. It's gonna be a little closer to center, and it's gonna allow us to a little bit, little bit more easily hit this thing like an iron, which is actually a really nice segue, credit me, nice segue into point number two, which is hitting down on the golf ball with a negative angle of attack. So you guys have obviously heard about us, maybe you haven't, but you've, we've talked about angle of attack here at US Golf TV. And a lot of us, to optimize our driver, should be hitting up on the golf ball, which means as the club head is coming into the golf ball, it's moving slightly at an upward angle of attack, two, three, four degrees up on the golf ball. Hybrids, if you're trying to hit up on the golf ball, you are gonna have a miserable time. These clubs are designed to be hit like irons, like I said, so we are not afraid at all of hitting down a little bit on these golf balls with a negative angle of attack. Hitting the golf ball and then moving down into the turf after that, keeping the club head low past impact. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of a couple of these golf balls. I'm gonna get rid of this one here. I'm gonna get rid of this back one here. And we're gonna play this thing with correct, with correct ball position and treat it like an iron. Hit it with a descending blow. And what you're gonna even see is, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna try to chunk it or anything, but you may see a little bit of a divot. And with a hybrid, that's actually a good thing. I think a lot of us think like we should be sweeping it. There should be no, no, it's actually okay. This golf club is designed to do that. So it's actually okay to go ahead play it a little bit, you know, closer to the middle of your stance and go ahead and just kind of hit down on it a little bit. Okay, well I actually hit that really nice, so that was great. Uh, not really a divot, maybe we're hitting off a down slope a little bit, but you can see, you know, I kind of disrupt some stuff. You only are gonna get that by really hitting down on the golf ball and that's, that's what these hybrids are designed for. They're designed to be treated like irons, so hit down on it and don't be afraid to do that. 
So tip number one, ball position. Tip number two, hitting down on the golf ball. Tip number three, find a shot you can trust. Now, a lot of us, you know, maybe you guys play cash games with your buddies, you know, whatever. Maybe you play tournaments competitively. And we all know the feeling of getting on maybe a, you know, a, a tight hole or, you know, you've got a hazard up there or the, or the match gets close towards the end. We've all got that shot maybe with our driver that we're like, this is my go-to. Like, I hit a fade and that's just what I do. Or I hit this low draw and that's what I do when I get under pressure. But a lot of people, I don't think, think about that when they think of their hybrid. I think they think of their hybrid as like, oh, if I'm going for a par five and two or if, I, if I'm, you know, 190 yards out in the fairway, I'm just going to hit this hybrid and just see how it goes. But you should really be more intentional with these clubs. Have a shot that you can trust. Go to the driving range and hit this club and actually practice it so that you can get on the golf course and be like, okay, I have a maybe a short, narrow par four and I'm going to hit my hybrid off the tee and I have a shot I can trust. It's not just some, you know, high floating shot that I can't control. I've got a shot that's decisive and it allows me to really make sure that this club is working for me as opposed to just putting in the bag and just seeing what happens. So really practice that and put a, put a shot in your bag that you can trust. So three tips for hitting a hybrid. A, ball position. B, making sure you're hitting down on the golf ball. And C, putting in a dependable shot into your golf game. Making sure that this hybrid is something that you can use under pressure and that you feel confident with. Now, a little bit of a bonus is really embrace the versatility of a hybrid. These clubs can be used off of a tee. These clubs can be used out of the rough. They can be used out of the fairway. They can be used out of fairway bunkers, and they can even be used around greens. Now, when I grew up, I mean, I remember practicing a lot of bump and run shots, and I'd do that with a seven iron or an eight iron, and you know, just bump it, get the ball started, and then let it let it roll or trundle to the hole. These hybrids can be used the same way. You can use them around the greens. You can use them in a versatile, uh, a number of versatile ways. So don't be afraid, and don't just classify this as the oh, I'm, I'm 190 yards out, I'm gonna use my hybrid. Like, no, be more creative than that because these clubs are designed to do that. So it's kind of a little bit of a bonus. Embrace the creativity around being versatile. So that's all we have. If you guys have any questions or any other like tips or things that you think help you when hitting a hybrid, drop those into the comments below. We'd love to either A, engage with you, uh, or second of all, if you guys have an interesting question about hitting a hybrid, we can make that in a future video. So feel free to drop that in the comments. If you guys like this video, give us a thumbs up. That helps other golfers like you uh, see the content. And before you guys take off, feel free to subscribe. So we're posting videos, vid multiple videos per week. I don't know the number, two, three, four videos per week. So hit the subscribe button and make sure you guys stay tuned with everything we're doing at US Golf TV. So that's it. Have a great day and good luck hitting hybrids.